Well, way back yonder long time ago in the days of antiquity, in the great Greek port of Alexandria stood a humongous library. There were 700,000 books, so we're told, but no videos or DVDs. And those books had knowledge of the world embalmed on the crusty, musty, dusty leaves. In the ruins of a palace where the gods once ruled, high up on Olympus, dwelt a little purple pony with wings of gold. Twas the last living Pegasus. She was poor, and she was lonely, but she liked to dance, and she yearned for attention and fame. So one fine day she flew off to Alexandria, and at the library door she sang, Do the Pegasus prance, get your sickery a chance. Come on, dance a mashed potato on moldy books of Plato, then hypotenuse twist like old Pythagoras. Do the Pegasus Prince. But the librarian, she said, Shh. I don't know why. Maybe she was concerned about this fuchsia equine with intercontinental flight capability. Singing and dancing next to the library's one kind Cyclops side bound original manuscript of the Odyssey. Signed to Circe with squeals and kisses, love Homer. <laughs> or maybe she was just grumpy. Librarians are like that someday. Right, dear? Yep. <laughs> Anyhow, that darn. Pegasus was stubborn and she wouldn't bow to archivistic ire. You know, she galloped down the aisle singing her theme song. The learned patrons were inspired. Yes, those academic eggheads and pedantic fools followed her from hall to hall. And they rearranged the books and shelves to make room for a bibliophilic ball. They danced the solar Xeno zombie and the bathtub splash of Gamedi's famous step. And the Pisistratus swagger and the Euclid jive and the Tricky Icky Oedipus Rex. Oh! Mommy! <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> they did the sin again, the lighthouse, and then one, two, and scholars felt the groove. They were hopping, they were bopping, they were getting down, saying, Purple Peggy, we love you. Do the Pegasus prance, give to Sigury a chance. Come on, dance and mash potato on moldy books of Plato, then hypotenuse twist. My gold Pythagoras do the Pegasus France. But the librarian still said, Shh. And you know, she had a point. I mean, sure, that library was sturdy, but it was not built for an Omega Dance marathon. The foundation started cracking and the columns swayed. Still, those goofy dukes partied on. When the friction of their frolic set the books on fire, Purple Peggy led her friends outside. As the roof caved in, the dancers did the atlas shrug while the knowledge of the known world fried. Oops, sorry, my bad. If the Astrologer Patola may have foreseen a catastrophe such as this. He would have counseled all librarians to look out for a footloose Pegasus. Of course, today we seldom think about the ancient Greek Alexandria's glory phase. But if you're quiet in your library, you just might be this impertinent 
there and make all together now, nice and slow. Do the Pegasus prance, intercity a chance. Come on, dance and mashed potato, unmoldy books of Plato, then hypotenuse, twist like old Pythagoras. Do the Pegasus prance. Do the Pegasus prance. Here we get chance. Come on, dance and mashed potato. I'm molding books of Plato. Then I got a twist. I hold the Pegasus. Do the Pegasus prank. Do the Pegasus prank. Here we get chance. Come on, dance and mashed potato. I'm molding books of Plato. Then I got a twist. I hold the Pegasus. Do the Pegasus prank.